Today's writing lesson will be on creating a sentence. We will also learn two of the most important rules that we have to make sure to follow whenever we are writing down and creating our sentences. So the very first question we want to answer is, what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that are put together to express a complete thought. Again, a sentence is a group of words that are put together to express a complete thought. A sentence will answer the question, who is in it and what they are doing. If you have a sentence, you have to make sure when you're writing it that you say who is in your sentence and what they are doing. For example, I will play outside. I gave you my who, which was I, and I told you what I would do, which is play outside. So that was a complete sentence. If I would say play outside, that's not a complete sentence. I told you what the person is gonna do, but I didn't give you the who. I could have said I, I could have said my brother, I could have said my sister. I had so many who's that I could have put that I missed. So you wanna make sure that when you're writing a complete sentence, you answer the who is in it and what they are doing exactly. So up here I have a sentence tells us a complete thought. That is important. It tells you the who and the what they are doing in the sentence. So the next thing we want to learn are the two most important rules whenever we are forming our sentences. No matter what type of sentence we're writing, whether it's a question, an exclamation sentence, a command sentence, a statement sentence, these two rules have to always be followed. So let's go ahead and get into the rules. So the first rule is a sentence begins with a capital letter. Again, a sentence begins with a capital letter. So every time you write your sentence, of course we think of it in our minds first, and then we put it on paper. Whenever you start to put your sentence on paper, you make sure that the very first letter of your sentence is a capital letter. What is a capital letter? If you look at the two Bs that I have here, I have big B, little b in cursive, and then big B and little b in print. We also say, I have capital B and lowercase b. Whenever I say a capital letter, that means the big one. So every time you write a sentence, you start it with the big letter. Just the first letter. You wouldn't capitalize every word in your sentence. You only capitalize the very first letter. You can see I did that with my sentence here. I capitalized my A. So that is the first rule. Let's say it together. A sentence begins with a capital letter. Awesome. Very second rule that we must follow is a sentence ends with a period. Again, a sentence ends with a period. So we have to make sure to start the sentence off correct with the capital letter, but we have to make sure to end it correctly with a period. So this is a period, I drew a bigger one so that you can see, but whenever you write your sentences, you don't have to do it this big. Just make sure that it's a dot, that it's enough to where you can see it at the end of your sentence. You don't want it too tiny to where you can't see it, but then too big where it's, it's too big. So make sure that you put your period at the end of a sentence. That tells you that your sentence is finished and that your sentence is complete. If you don't put a period, then you can add more to it and then it can become a run-on sentence, which you don't want that. So you make sure that whenever you are finished expressing your complete thought, writing out your sentence, that you put the period to say that is the sentence and it is finished. So the very second rule that we must follow when writing a sentence, let's say it together. A sentence ends with a period. Let's say it together again. A sentence ends with a period. Now, some sentences do end with different things like a question mark, an exclamation mark, and we will learn those eventually as we start to learn the different kinds of sentences, but majority of the sentences we write will end with a period. What I mean by that is most of the sentences we write will end with a period. So I have two example sentences here that I want to go over so that we can just practice how to write a sentence and make sure that we follow the rules. So my first sentence says, dad gave me a red ball. So if you look at my sentence, is it written correctly? Let's check. Does it have a capital D? 
Yes. Does it end with the period? Yes. So this sentence is good. Not only that, it's telling me who, dad, and what did he do? He gave me a red ball. So that is a complete sentence because it told me the who, the what, it had a capital letter, and it ended with the period. Next one. Mom read a book with me. So let's look at this sentence. Let's do our check to make sure that it's complete. So does it begin with a capital letter? Yes. Does it end with a period? Yes. So let's also see, does it have a who? Mom, so it does have a who. And then what did mom do? Read a book with me. So that is a complete sentence. So again, the rules, first rule is a sentence begins with a capital letter. Second rule is a sentence ends with a period. Also, a sentence is a group of words that express a complete thought. A sentence tells us a who, and a sentence tells us a what. So that is the basic rules for creating a sentence. So what I want you to do today after the lesson is to write the rules of a sentence two times, the very first rule. So you'll write a sentence begins with a capital letter two times. Then you'll write a sentence ends with a period two times. Then when you write it, say it to yourself so that you can remember it so that when you start to create your own sentences, you'll remember a sentence has to start with a capital letter and a sentence has to end with a period. So that is today's writing lesson.